My name's Ian Puddick. I run the London Boiler Company and the Hertfordshire Boiler Company. Uh, we've featured as the heating experts on various programmes on ITV, Channel 4 and the BBC. Uh, today we're filming here at the Worcester Bosch Training Centre and we work exclusively with Worcester Bosch. We will not install any other boilers and that's, that's for one very simple reason. Uh, we believe they make the best boilers. Uh, which magazine have given 30, 30 boilers within their range Best Buy accolades, so which is fantastic. And from our experience, they're robust, reliable and incredibly efficient, which from a consumer point of view, that's all you're really looking for. Now, I have Lynn here with me uh, from the technical department. Now, the purpose of this video is for you as the consumer to help you choose the right combination boiler for your property. Now, there's loads of myths associated with choosing the right boiler, and we're gonna try and make it really clear to help you understand what is the right boiler for you. And it all comes down to flow rate. We do get a lot of calls in, into the technical department um, about choice of boiler. Um, the question that we do ask them is the, what flow rate they've got, and that helps us choose the, the boiler. Sometimes customers find it difficult. They don't know what flow rate they've got. No. And I think this, this video would be helpful because it will show them that they can actually check their own flow rate. They, they get confused between pressure and flow. Very simply, what's the difference? Flow rate is just the normal flow through a tap and pressure is the force that that flow is under. Um, the customer can actually uh, take their own flow rate or use either a measure, measuring jug, which you'll have most likely in the kitchen, or your professional, yourself probably, will use a, a flow cup. It's an easy thing to do uh, with the flow cup if you'd like to do it yourself. Okay, so let's check it. So if you use the flow cup, open the tap for full rate, so the cold water tap, full rate. If we put the measuring jug underneath, and then if we look at this level here, okay. we've got 10 yeah. litres a minute. Okay. So, so that's telling us that the cold water within this property, we've got 10 litres a minute. What does that actually mean? The 10 litres will go into, into the boiler through the heat exchange, which is, this is a heat exchange with so thin plates. Yeah. So, so, so the 10 litres of water, cold water, is going to come into the heat exchanger, get heated up. It's going to go through a flow switch, which activates the boiler, which tells the boiler that it needs to fire. But then, yes, it will flow through the, the heat exchange. It'll get a certain resistance through it. If you've got a 14 litre boiler, or the capacity of 14 litres, mm. if you've got 10 litres of cold water coming through, you're not going to get so any more. If we can make this really clear, because yeah. I got an email only this morning from a customer saying, I want a 36 CDI because that's going to give me sort of 14 and a half uh, litres per minute. Yeah. So in this situation where the customer only has 10 litres, yeah. what would happen if they installed a uh, larger boiler that potentially had larger capacity? Yeah. What would happen? It doesn't mean that you're going to get 14 litres out of the boiler. The boiler is manufactured to give you the 14 litres and you may be thinking, I've got a 14 litre uh, boiler, but you've only got 10 litres of cold water. The boiler is not going to sure. increase that, so you're only going to get the 10 and a small resistance through the heat exchange. Um, so that's why, that's what you were saying, is to actually size your boiler correctly yeah. for the flow rate you've got, because we don't want the customers to be disappointed. No. What we can do and what the customer can do that was with a flow cup that professionals would use. This is just with a household um, jug. So most customers have got a household jug. One litre. One litre, yeah. One litre. So, so really important, uh, need to open up the water first full, of all. Yeah, cold water tap, full flow. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm gonna time and see exactly how long this takes to fill. That's it. So if we stop it now. So that took six seconds. We've got a litre of water. So that equates to 10 litres per minute. Now, obviously at home, that's gonna vary. And to make it simple for you so that you don't have to get involved in any calculations whatsoever, depending on how long it takes you in your home to fill your one litre jug, you can look on the chart below this video and you, it will tell you what your flow rate is. If you were to install a much larger boiler that has a larger capacity, you're basically going to be wasting money and you are not going to benefit as the customer. And that, in very, very simple language, is the easiest way to choose the appropriate size combination boiler that's going to give you the appropriate amount of hot water for your property. 
Now, give us a call at any time. We'd be delighted to send you an engineer to come around and help you in this, but we're here all of the time. Call us on 0208 829 8244.